Hey, what's up, everyone? Luigi GX right here, and today I'm going to be reacting to Naruto vs. Scorpion Cartoon Fight Club. And man, Naruto has made tons of appearances in Cartoon Fight Club. I can't wait to see how he's going to do with Scorpion. Now, this one, I have no idea who's going to win. I feel like Scorpion, but I say no, Naruto is actually going to win this one. I have no idea. Scorpion can't really die because he's already dead and stuff, so but Naruto has gone through some crazy stuff like that, so yeah, I have no idea who's going to win. But anyway, as always, make sure, make sure to go check out the original video, we'll be right back here once together. Anime Streamline Cartoon Fight Club Sonic vs. Flash Sand versus Silver. Ichigo versus... Why oh, you keep showing that? I have no idea the guy his name. Sands of Pirates versus Shrek and Donkey. Sanic versus Ouija. What's up, everyone? Welcome to the 80th episode of Cartoon. I'm liking that music in the background. Host, Animation Rewind. And if you are new to this series, then be sure to check out the older content. But if you know how the game is played, then let's get ready for the fight. All right. Tonight's episode was animated by El Cheetahman YT. Oh, that guy's so new. If you enjoy this animation, head on over to his channel and subscribe. Speaking of tonight's fight, we have a battle between Naruto and Scorpion. Yep. With all this being Two of the most recognized anime and video game characters ever. 80th round of fighters. All right, this is the 80th. Is a resurrected ninja from the Mortal Kombat series. Oh. Resurrected ninja from the Mortal Kombat series. He is one of the hey, hey, wait a minute. Is that the music right there that they use for the memes? Like, for YouTube Poop versus MLG and the Total War and um, YouTube Poop and MLG versus the Illuminati. That music right there. Yeah, it's exactly the same thing. Specifically, the Nether Realm's variant of fire. Scorpion, for the most part, is immune to the element and primarily uses it to comfort the death of his opponents. That's true. It from his skull while unmanned. Oh, like yeah. No, Sub Zero did not kill. Oh, man, I'm so sad right there. That disappointed me right there. Sub Zero is my favorite World Combat character. His most recurring weapon is the spear, allowing Scorpion to pull his enemies towards him for quick, easy hits. One of Scorpion's signature moves is the Hellfire Punch. This features him teleporting behind his opponent while he connects his move with a punch called the Teleport Attack. The move yeah, I get kind of annoying sometimes. He's behind a burst of fire when he vanishes. He can also perform this in midair. If Scorpion has the right opportunity, he can send his opponent to the Nether Realm. Yeah, that's where he gets stronger. Slowly but surely get more powerful the longer he's in there. However, yep. if he uses Hellfire for too long, he risks becoming consumed by it, destroying huh. his existence. Technically though, Scorpion's soul is immune to death, but that's only because there's a confirmed afterlife in the okay. world of Mortal Kombat. His that's true. body, as seen in many games, can be torn to shreds, which sends him to the afterlife. Overall, Scorpion oh, is an extremely zero. Oh, come on. exponential growth of power in the Nether Realm. But too much exposure would risk him of becoming consumed by Hellfire. From one ninja to another, let's All right, Naruto. Naruto. Naruto is lucky number five. Well, actually, the number five has no real connection to Naruto himself. But counting this episode, five is the number of times Naruto has been on this series. Oh. He's faced Goku twice, Kid yeah. Goku once, yeah. Go once, and is now facing Scorpion. This is Naruto's fifth battle. Whether it's a good thing or not, it's more than likely not going to be the last time we see Naruto on the channel. And after it's five true. times, there's really, really not anything new I can say about Naruto. Yep, it's mostly going to be a review. I mean, what's the point now? At least I don't think it did. Anyways, Naruto has had the Nine Tails Chakra within him since he was born. Naruto's Demon Fox Cloak forms a dense shroud of chakra around him. 
The shroud, a translucent red with bubbles of chakra foaming all along it, provides a degree of physical protection, but can also harm the user if used to a certain extent. The regenerative abilities granted to him constantly heal any damage. You know, I used to watch the old Naruto, like season, season one, actually. Through the constant destruction and recreation How, of self, I don't know, I, I lost track of the whole series. The Demon Cloak will be a super effective healing technique. In the anime, Naruto learned to instantly access this form at will and retain complete control of himself including to change back to his normal state whenever he desired without suffering any damage. Like all Jinchuriki transformations, the user's physical abilities are enhanced while the mode is active, with greater enhancements coming from using more of the Ninetales Chakra. While using the base Ninetales Chakra mode, Naruto Uzumaki is strong enough to defeat members of the White Zetsu army with a single kick and fast enough to dodge the fourth Rikage using his lightning. Okay, that's, that's to good. To protect himself even more, Naruto can perform the body flicker technique. Oh, so he's good at the, the fence. Also helps it's actually a good thing. From damage, allowing them to take lava and boil -based attacks no, I'm loving how this background music is showing up. Uh, all this whole crazy stuff that's happening assistance. right there. Because of his protective cloak, overall Naruto is an experienced warrior with a really effective healing factor. And oh, so you can say it's kind of like the Wolverine. This battle between Naruto and Scorpion is going to take place in the overworld with no prep. Let the battle begin! Alright. Alright, let's see if this guy's really good. Yeah, I mean, like, for my taste, actually. What the heck? Wait, what? Hey, hold on, that was the music used in Goku vs. Naruto, the first one. And why is Scorpion really a diamond sword? And why are they in Minecraft form? You know what? I'm actually comfortable with this one. I'm comfortable with this one. I'm comfortable with Minecraft style. So it's kind of a little weird. It's a little weird how they're in Minecraft form. But not in their normal form. Oh. You know what? I actually, got, I actually really like this now. Dang. <laughs> Dang! Okay, I still have no idea who's gonna win. Still that animation though, it's awesome. You know what, I don't care if it's in Minecraft or... I mean, it may be uncomfortable for some people right there, but... As well, uncomfortable how Scorpion is using... A diamond sword, not a ninja sword, actually, but, you know, I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it, actually, you know? It's awesome. Oh, and I'm, and I'm all combat-based with Minecraft. They were really doing it well. Oh. Wait, that's a nether dragon? The nether dragon right there? Why? Okay, who did they get? Who did they get right there? Oh. Alright. I'm going to Naruto. You did it. You know, you know I, got, I got to make class for that one. This one deserves a class. This one deserves a class right there. Because it was just awesome. It was just awesome right there. Oh, it was just awesome. Oh. Well, there you have it. Naruto wins. Now, before we discuss why he wins, I want to give a huge... Yeah, you know, to be honest, it actually... You know what? That's the guy who deserves a clap. He deserves a lot of a clap. His channel and subscribe. Now, let's discuss Naruto versus Scorpion. And actually... If Scorpion wasn't immune to death, I could explain why Naruto wins rather quickly. 
All that really, really needs to be said is that Naruto's overwhelming ability to destroy a moon is far beyond anything Scorpion has ever done. There, oh. case closed. And while Naruto still defeated Scorpion even with his death immunity, I have to go a little more in depth with my explanation. While yes, technically speaking, even after Naruto destroyed Scorpion's body, the yep. soul does still exist back in the Nether Realm. But it's true. If Scorpion destroys Naruto's body, his soul would just go to the Pure Land, which is the afterlife oh. in the Naruto universe. So, oh. does both of them still potentially existing even after death count as actually not winning? From my perspective, I would say no, because Naruto is still the one walking around in the Minecraft woods for some reason. But yeah, that was, was a little weird for me, LL. Another realm. For starters, Scorpion can't just automatically send Naruto down with him to the Nether Realm whenever he feels. Oh yeah. You need to get a good open opportunity to teleport both of them there. With someone of Naruto's speed and skill, this would be extremely difficult to do. Okay, yeah. Scorpion somehow manages to get there, just because Scorpion could potentially continue to get stronger, that doesn't mean he would reach a point of having a moon level strength. Or, if he did, it could take Scorpion a really long time to reach that kind of power. Which would yeah, that is true. Plenty of time to finish him off before that power level even accumulates. And it is clear as day that the power increase that Scorpion has does have a limit. Because if Scorpion consumes too much Hellfire, it will destroy his body. The winner of this battle oh. is Naruto. Now, if you want to see a two-on-two -two rematch between oh. Sub-Zero and Scorpion versus Naruto and Sasuke, you know what I, to do. Yeah, and I love Sub-Zero. I really want, gets if they're including Sub-Zero, I'm going with Sub-Zero. There will be a rematch. Also, don't forget to comment down your ideas for future episodes. They may even become a future episode of Cartoon Fight Club. And stay tuned, because the next fighters are going to be revealed. I already know who the next fighters are. I didn't see the episode. Again, I've been slacking. Oh, Animate anim Steve. A lot of people have been making fan art. Or fan videos about Minecraft. Wait, what's that from? Roblox? Roblox? I heard about it. My friends at school have been telling me about this. Never really played it. Bogroll versus Minecraft. I hope I pronounced that one right. To be honest, I'm going with Steve on this one. Minecraft is. Wait. Where's the papyrus right there? To be honest, yeah. Kind of makes sense actually for Naruto to win. I mean, that admits destroying something like the moon is really creepy. Oh, come on, that one's obvious. Kirby! Still, it was awesome. It was just awesome that we all got to see like Naruto versus Scorpion, but in a Minecraft way. That was just awesome. I can't wait for that one. Well, um, that was unexpected. Mostly a Minecraft part. But still, I wonder, is it going to be the same animator that animated that fight that's going to animate um, Steve versus Roblox? I bought Roll. I, I can't pronounce that name right. Can anyone? I'm sorry, like I can't pronounce it right. But still, Steve is awesome. But as the other guy, I have no idea. But anyway, yeah, this was kind of like a good video. So. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll see you right back here next time. Luigi GX, out.